Good morning, everyone. Well, whatever time it is where you are, welcome to Starry Night Stronghold. We have our Costco haul and the Walmart commissary haul. I'm going to go through everything. Um, it's it's kind of small. It's mostly keto. So let's just get to it, right? Um, let's see, my daughter's fire truck just on the table. Yeah, sorry about that. Right, and what do we have? So first, we're going to go through what I got at Costco, and then I'll do my me weekly meal plan. So we got our organic zucchini spirals uh, for one of our meals this week. We got some more Victoria white linen sauce. It was sugar-free. The ingredients here are tomatoes, onions, olive oil, salt, garlic, basil, and calcium chloride, which is the preservative when you can something. So that's a good deal. Um, I got another batch of mushrooms. I've been making three eggs with half a cup of diced mushrooms and some cheese and a quarter cup of um, Great Value brand crushed tomatoes in tomato puree, which has nothing in its ingredients. Sorry, I'm a little sick. has nothing in its ingredients list except tomatoes and a little bit of citric acid, which you need to can it. So normally Costco has big Bella mushrooms. These are little tiny ones, but I suppose it doesn't matter because I diced them up and then measure it by the half cup anyway. We got a bag of the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. I've been buying the golden, but Costco sells the classic and it's actually a good price. So uh, this is... I... I, I Bought the tiny bag and it's lasted me. La la, it's lasted. It's going to last another week, so it, it's good for two weeks. But uh, yeah, I just want to have this not on hand. I hate when people say on hand. Oh my goodness! All right, I'm done with that. <laughs> um, just want to have this as a backup. There we go. Or so I don't have to go shopping for it again because you know sometimes Costco has things and then. They don't have them all of a sudden. So this is a really good price for uh, 28.22 ounces or 1.76 pounds, 800 grams. All right, got a bag of avocados. We're going to have this later in the week. And they're mostly firm, so it'll be fine to have later in the week because, you know, an avocado is ready for two hours and then it's bad. Um, got the giant size of the cream cheese. I wish my Costco sold the, the buckets of the cream cheese, then I, it makes it easier to store, and I think I'm actually going to get out a container and and uh, to open this up. It's just a big, giant block that is sectioned off, but I think I'm going to let it get soft at room temperature and then put it in my own storage container, and it's just easier to measure that way. Um, we have some blueberries, not really for me, I'm doing a more strict version, but my family is not doing keto, so I would like them to have some nice blueberries, and I'm not one of those lucky people that has a Costco that has the, uh, free range, cage free, nice grass fed eggs. The best I can do are cage free eggs, but that's just what I can do. I haven't even seen, um the grain or the grass-fed ones at Sprouts, so that's kind of weird. Um, at the commissary now, move this over. Um, I reviewed my Walmart pickup order and they didn't have any iceberg lettuce, which if I'm hungry at the end of the night, I will go ahead and just chop some of this up with some bacon and cheese and some of that Sir Kensington's no carb dressing. So I got two iceberg lettuces because I prefer the romaine, but it seems to be not safe lately from Salinas, California. So they also didn't have, here's the junk food time for my small child. They didn't have the uh, s'mores chip, s'mores, s'more, s'mores, Chobani flip. Um, they didn't have that and I don't let them replace much, many of my things. So uh, they didn't replace that, they just didn't have that, and they didn't have the lettuce, so I picked it up at the commissary. 
I got her two of those and one cookies and cream. It really is junk food and I wish I wasn't doing it, but it's so difficult to get her to eat in the first place. Oh my goodness. Um, also got a bottle of Frank's Red Hot. I was thinking about getting it from Costco, the big double pack they have. But no, nah, I just I just picked it up at the commissary. Um, these two are also for the small child. Um, I'm reading I'm reading and reading and reading and I talk with her father about it about uh you know she doesn't need all this sugar and grains and the the chocolate is about to disappear. She has a chocolate addiction. So uh, just maybe she'll snack on something. She's not very snacky. Um, she gets hungry and she knows she's hungry at the end of the night and she will agree to a yogurt. So that's something. Um, but we're going. I'm going to see if maybe she'll eat these. I can't even get her to eat goldfish crackers, which are really, really bad. But So we got Annie's Organic Cinnamon Graham Crackers, and we'll see how that goes. I know she likes pretzels, so let's see. We got some garlic parmesan deli-style pretzel crisps. Um, maybe she'll eat them. Maybe she won't. You never know. And then also from the commissary, let me set this back over here. Um, everything is a mess. Oh, no. I got some tamari gluten-free soy sauce. So I'm going to make some Asian meals this week. And if you want to skip the soy sauce, um, I, I don't know if this is like, dirty keto or whatever, but uh, <laughs> I have to be gluten-free because I have celiac, so I can't play around with this this gluten business. I'm really sensitive, and I have to be really careful. Um, soy sauce doesn't have a lot of carbs, and people go ahead and they use coconut aminos, which I could use coconut aminos, but coconut aminos are actually quite high in carbs. So I'm going to go with this gluten-free tamari and keep the carbs down. And, uh, you know, it is the soy product, but it's a gluten-free one. So then this is what I have to talk about. I got three cans of this Starkist Select No Salt Added Chunk White Albacore. So this is the problem, and this is why you should read every label. Um... All the regular brands, the Bumblebee, Chicken of the Sea, um, all of them, even the ones in Costco, except for that tall orange can of wild-caught tuna, albacore tuna, um, they are in water. I, don't, I didn't check the in-oil ones, but the ones that are in water are actually put in broth, and the broth has soy in it. And if it's not gluten-free soy, I can't have it. So I don't normally eat fish but I'm going to eat fish, um, just tuna fish. That's all I can stand. Um, I know the smaller fish have less mercury in them. So, you know, Thomas DeLauer and all of them recommend the chunk light fish. Uh, this is chunk white albacore. So I think it's just the albacore that has been chopped up better. But it only has white tuna wa and water in it, nothing else. So this is the... Starkis Select Series, no salt added. And it's the only kind of tuna I found on the entire shelf, except for that big orange can that they have, that big orange stack they have at Costco of white albacore tuna that only has, or that doesn't have soy in it. And uh, I don't know if that soy is safe or not, so I'm not even going to chance it. Um, so that's everything. No, it's not. I also got heavy whipping cream at the commissary, and my husband, oh, I can't reach over here, my husband, for whatever reason, this past couple of weeks, wants to cook, because I think he's hungry, because I'm cooking everything keto, and they can add carbs, but he keeps asking to make at least one meal a week, he wants to make two, but I told him no. <laughs> Oh, he's a, he's a disaster in the kitchen, but he's trying and he wants to learn, so that's the important part. But he wants to make a, a more authentic carbonara, and so he asked me if I could pick up some pancetta. So I got him three of these, one, two, three. Um, 
and some pasta that you'll see later so he can go ahead and make his carbonara and I'm going to go hide in my room and bury my head in the sand while he does that because there's no part of that that I can touch. All right, moving on from Walmart grocery pickup. We got a bag of artisan red onions. Um, that looks fine to me. I'll probably chop one up and do the carb count for the tuna salad. And that's fine. I got two bags of angel hair coleslaw just because I didn't want to buy a cabbage and chop it myself and I'm lazy but it doesn't change the carb count to do it this way and ingredients are only green cabbage so no weird things happening there but seriously check every label you can't trust anything I got a pound and a half no wait uh, two, two and a quarter pounds of ground beef I got two pounds of ground chicken and I got two and a quarter pounds of ground pork. Well, I showed you the ground pork first. No, I think, okay, one's a ground beef and pork blend. Oops, that's fine. Um, all this ground meat is because I have difficulty digesting meat and uh, when it's ground, it makes it easier for me to digest. So I try to do that. Look at all the wrinkles on my tablecloth, so bad. I um, also got a large celery that is for two different meals, for the tuna and for another meal. Um, got some Italian parsley. Um, I'll leave a little bit for my husband to garnish his carbonara and take his special picture so he can be so happy. Um, also got the cilantro, I think one of our nights this night. I'll have to look our, uh, our uh, Mexican themed. Got fresh peeled garlic, again, because I'm lazy and I don't want to peel the garlic. And it doesn't have any ingredients, so I assume that it is just garlic. I got four pounds of jalapeno peppers. Um, that's going to be for a meal. <laughs> um, the other Chobani flips that I got for my daughter for the rest of the week are peanut butter cups, chocolate haze craze, and coffee brownie bits. I sure hope that doesn't have any actual coffee in it. Let's see. They do have wheat flour in them. Isn't that crazy? In this yogurt? Oh, because of the cookies. Okay, I understand. But, yeah, so I could never have those. They would kill me even if I wasn't doing keto. Um, she doesn't eat breakfast almost ever. We're going to try to change that. And I know that she likes oatmeal. Um, so we're just going to give these strawberries, peaches, and blueberries, and banana cream flavors. Not the healthiest thing. Um, not terrible. But that's... That's what's going to happen for her. My husband needed bananas for the week. I had a conversation with him about how many sugars are in bananas because his whole thing is, oh, I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat all the sugar all the time. But he will stuff this banana in his face in five seconds flat. <laughs> it's kind of scary. And then last thing that we got, this is the Dissecho, Dissecho. I don't even know how to pronounce that, Dissecho. Uh, spaghetti number 12, and this is for his carbonara. All right, and then the meal plan. You probably can't read my writing. All right, let's see. Um, tonight we're having the spiral zucchini zoodles with Alfredo and bacon. I didn't buy any bacon because we have some in the freezer. I need to defrost that. Um, tomorrow we're going to have beef and broccoli stir-fry soup, so I'm going to make the stir fry with the ground beef and the gluten-free tamari and uh, then I'm going to add the beef broth that I got at Sprouts last week and turn it into a soup. Um, so today is Tuesday, Wednesday, the 9th is Thursday. We're going to do chicken cutlets in the artichoke, and it's not parmesan, it's artichoke jalapeno cream sauce. 
I will add Parmesan. Um, so I'm going to pound out some chicken breasts really thin and tenderize them and see if I can't eat them, digest them that way. Um, same thing with this broccoli up here. I have a difficult time digesting broccoli and cauliflower, so I have to cook it really well so it's very soft and then I can digest it. But, you know, the cruciferous vegetables, the broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, that's all good for keeping your estrogen in check. Um, on Friday, we're going to have cream cheese stuffed jalapenos wrapped in bacon. I was on the lookout for a sugar-free grape jelly. I was going to just take the net carbs that day, but no, the sugar-free the sugar-free grape jelly is made of horrible products, and I wouldn't give it to anybody in my family, so I'm just not going to have it, and I will give the rest of the family the uh, Smucker's Naturals grape jelly to go ahead and dip their, their yumminess in. On Saturday, we're having egg roll in a bowl, and I'm going to whip up some keto yum yum sauce. Um, that's If you look for yum yum sauce on... Keto Ginger on YouTube, you'll find her recipe. It is very, very, very low carb. It's like one gram for three tablespoons or something. Um, Sunday, we're having the tuna salad um, over iceberg lettuce and some avocado slices. And then the following Monday, we're going to have a buffalo chicken dip casserole. Um, then I'm going to make a salad with it with the ranch and blue cheese and some celery in the salad or whatever. Um, I'm going to use the blue cheese crumbles and I'm the, yeah, what am I saying? The Sir Kensington's Ranch is uh, zero carb and then I'm going to use blue cheese crumbles. So that should be quite tasty. And what happens with my, my meal plans, you'll see it starts on a Tuesday today. These meals will all be made and then I'll have like three more days of leftovers so whenever we don't finish something at night and it doesn't get packed for the lunch the following day or my in my husband's lunch the following day um, that goes in the freezer or in the fridge depending on how well it will keep and at the end of this I will just feed the family whatever is left and then so I probably won't start on Tuesday the next time I do a meal plan I will probably start on a Wednesday or a Thursday and so I don't make another meal plan until the fridge is empty. Um, I think that's everything that I wanted to show you. So if you liked this video and you like my, my spread and my keto business, go ahead and hit subscribe. I love hearing comments. Um, I know this is not the best camera, but I think going through one by one, you can see everything just fine. And I hope that the sound has been repaired and everybody can hear everything correctly. I'll see you next time.